Hey YouTube, what is up? And today we are back with a brand new video. So, alright, I'm doing this two separate videos again because I'm having a very difficult time doing it with two the last time I tried this uh, in general. So for now, until I start getting used to everything, I'm just going to do it with one at a time. So today, welcome to my iPhone SE on iOS 13.3.1 full review. So... Let's just get right into it, but of course I do have something to say. So uh, before we get into the video, definitely make sure to hit the subscribe button if you are new to the channel, guys. Every subscriber means a ton and is extremely appreciated. Um, starting May 1st, I believe, was my fir very first upload. And since then, it's been a long journey, still ongoing, and I'm almost at 500 subs. I never thought I'd be here. Uh, so thank you all so much for your support. Thank you all so much for those of you that helped me uh, accomplish this. So Saunders Tech, All I Talk is Tech, thank you both so much. The Slinky, definitely. Um, so always love talking to him. But guys, and all my viewers, thank you for your support over the past few months. And I cannot wait to see what the next year brings, next decade. So let's see what it has to put on the table. So anyway, I'm just going to get right into the video. Uh, yeah, so let's take a look at iOS 13.3.1, Developer Beta 1 on the iPhone SE. Alright, so the iPhone SE is Apple's 2016 phone, I guess you could say, because it's not actually their 2016 phone. The iPhone 7 here was their main flagship 2016 iPhone. But the iPhone SE was their iPhone Special Edition, released in March of 2016 with the same specifications as the iPhone 6S, the A9 dual-core A9 processor with 2GB of RAM, and it only missed out on a few, a few key features such as second generation touch ID and hap a haptic engine, it's just sticking with the old vibration motor, um, force touch display, retina HD display, and some other stuff like that. So most, most importantly is the design. It still features the 4-inch design of the iPhone 5, 5S. So very classic design. I love this design. It's probably my favorite ever. Um, but... This phone is very capable in 2019, and we're actually going to be talking about how it holds up still with the latest firmware version, which is iOS 13.3.1. So just to confirm again that we are on iOS 13.3.1, the build number is 17D5026C, and just before we get to the battery, I'm going to talk about the battery health, which is 93%, an all-time low for this guy. So anyway, let's just talk about the performance to start. Alright guys, so my iPhone SE's performance on iOS 13.3.1 has actually been about the same as iOS 13.3, which is pretty fast, actually. I don't have any lag. Um, there's the occasional stutter within a game, of course, but other than that, everything loads up fine. Everything is actually great. Um, I haven't had any hangs, really, on any apps that shouldn't hang. Uh, the App Store just takes its time, of course, but... Everything else has been buttery smooth. I haven't had any issues. Um, so it's just been great. It's been, again, about the same as 13.3, which is actually phenomenal. Uh, probably the best out of all of them so far. But iOS 13.3.1 is about the same. Definitely not any different in my experience. So in regards to battery life, this is where things get a little uh, interesting. So I've heard people say this before. I remember I got a comment uh, not that long ago, a couple days ago from somebody complaining about the same issue. The iPhone SE on iOS 13.3.1 developer beta 1 has messed up battery life. That's it. It's just completely messed up. Uh, you guys saw my max capacity was 93% uh, and just to confirm again, 93%, which is still up there and it's still good. You know, you should be still getting the most, out of, almost the most, out of, it's starting to get there, but it's not yet. So 93% is still good. You know, it's something that you in that area where you kind of have to start watching it. But the battery life took a hit on 13.3.1 developer beta 1. Battery is just draining no matter what I'm doing on this phone. I've noticed a significant increase in the amount of... Wait, increase... Yeah. This, it, it's just increase... Uh, reduced... Uh, I need help. Uh, no, but the battery life is just... It straight out just sucks uh, in iOS 13.3.1. And I hope this is addressed in a further beta or even a close release, even if it's not beta 2, as long as it's like beta 3 or the full release, as long as this is fixed, it'll be fine, but it's taken a massive hit. Um, I had to re-record this video because I got a text and just nothing, anyway, uh, but the battery went from 59 to 50, 
8, 57, and 56 within a matter of like three minutes, and it's still not, it's not doing it now, of course. Uh, it does kind of do that sometimes. It'll go down really fast, but then it will slow down. It's really weird. I don't know what's going on with that. Battery life is terrible. I actually had an unexpected shutdown the other night, and if we go on the battery here, you guys can see this iPhone has experienced an unexpected shutdown because the battery was unable to deliver the necessary peak power. I did manually disable it, so they're not lying there. But yeah, battery life has been terrible on 13.3.1. Hope it's addressed. Um, if it is, absolutely amazing. If it's not, well, that's not really good. But we'll see. We'll see what Apple does with Beta 2 because it has been a few weeks. So hopefully they do um, fix this bug. Anyway, I really got nothing else to say. I mean, there's no... I haven't really uh, found any bugs in the operating system Really, I don't know why I never am able to find any bugs with anything. Um, nothing on this SE has gotten in my way, no bugs or anything. If I do find anything significant, I'll definitely report it to you guys in a separate video. But yeah, so for now, I'm going to leave you off with this. Battery life, pretty bad. Yeah, you know, it's just terrible. And... The battery life performance has been just as good as 13.3. Actually, it's been really good, so that's, you know, that's pretty good. And that's it. I actually have nothing else to say. It's sad but true. It's just a small update for a small phone. That was a terrible joke. Just forget, forget I said that. Just, no. Anyway, guys, so I hope you did enjoy this video. I hope you got something out of it. I'm really sorry that I'm not, like, up to speed with everything. I am still just... Oh, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button and definitely show me that you enjoyed by leaving a like on the video. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Guys, so really quickly, I just cut the video and the second I cut it, my battery went from 53% to 50. How does that, like, is this math now? Is this what they're teaching kids in school? You, one, two, three, four, five, fifty, fifty-three. 50, 53. I think that's right. And then 50, 53, 52, 50, four yeah that's how they count now i think all right anyway i could be wrong but I th i'm pretty sure that's how they count now so it's like oh no subtraction right because when you subtract i actually don't know how to do that so i'm just not it with it but yeah it's it's like 50 and then 53 52 54 now so i forgot you know the ogs grew up learning 51 52 53 not yeah so anyway i forgot sorry this so that must be a new feature in a 13.3.1 then I'm just kidding, guys. So, yeah, I just wanted to say that. Um, I can't make jokes, so just get used to it. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, so 53 to 50, the second I ended the video. Okay. Well, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. See you for real this time.